Hi, I'm Barry Fahazian. This video is about articulation. Articulation is the most important thing you can do to your bass lines if you want to sound funky or anything you're playing. The notes have to be as even as possible. You have to be in time. You have to use dynamics. You have to use different techniques. And it has to be musicality. That line I just played came from a book I wrote way back in the 80s called Finger Funk, Bass and Drums. At that time, funk was played with the index and middle plucking type thing, and that's what everyone did, even Jocko. I took that and changed it to a slap and pop line just for the heck of it and see what happened. I'm going to play you the original line the way it was meant to be played a hundred years ago. You can compare them. Let me go over number 4C, which is the first example. And the whole thing about breaking it down like this, it's easier to learn because to learn something like this that gets a little complicated, it's better to take a little step at a time, learn it well, and at the same time, you can start to develop other ideas from the parts of the one lick. On 4C, we have, that's easy enough, one and two, and then one and two. Up, slap, up, slap with a dead note, down, slap with a dead note, up, slap with a dead note, and then a pop. Okay, that alone could be a line by itself, or it could be something that you could take to offshoot into another idea. this point, let's finish up the line. We'll add the last beat. Now let's play that alone and repeat it and we have something we can use. We can double our usage by using that by itself to create other lines or just a lick you can use whenever you feel like throwing something in. And you can put a slap, you can put a pop. So the next section of this two bar phrase would be beats one and two on the second measure. And that starts out with a pop and then a down slap, an up slap, and then another pop. So you have two pops and two slaps. And the order would be pop, slap, slap, pop. Or pop, down slap, up slap, pop. And then a down, up, down, up, slap, dead note. The important thing you get out of this is a technique of using thumb, 
dead note slaps and pops. And the whole thing is that it gives you a different sound, sort of like a conga drummer playing different congas or other instruments too, where it gives you this advantage of playing and having different sounds for every beat. And that makes it really nice and also a little bit difficult because you have to use a different technique for each note. That's all for 4C. Let's move on to the next one, 4D. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of videos yet to come, like and comment. Thank you for stopping by and hope to see you again.